Cheeky Richo's Breakfast Casserole. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Breakfast Casserole. You can make this the night before and bake it on your big morning. It leaves you free to open your Christmas presents on Christmas Day or enjoy a family get together. So let's get started. Now we've got some beautiful little Italian sausages which are preservative free and they're very, very low in fat. We're just going to par cook those, just cut them into little chunks. If they happen to be quite big, make them into smaller chunks than this so that they will cook quite evenly. We've got some bacon also, shortcut bacon. So we're just gonna cut that into chunks as well. Don't get too serious with that because we want it to be nice and rustic. So they're going into our pan on a medium heat just to lightly cook. Now we're cooking our sausages in a pan on the stove top that is capable of being placed in the oven. The reason we're doing this is it's a, a true one pot breakfast and that way it'll save on washing up. But you can prepare this the night before, pop it in the fridge and then just pop it into the oven the next morning until the eggs are set. Roughly chunk our onion, doesn't have to be too serious, it's going in and getting cooked off a little as well. Pop our little cherry tomatoes. I'm leaving these whole because they will actually explode in the cooking process. These are out of our garden. You don't get much fresher than that. Sometimes I like to leave the little stems on there because they look really nice in presentation, but not when they're part of the casserole. They'll just be like lawn clippings. I'm also just going to cut our spring onion into rustic sort of, well that's a big one, rustic sort of chunks as well. Our sausages and bacon are browning along nicely. Just give those a little toss around to make sure everything's had a chance to cook a bit. They will be finishing the oven, so they don't have to be cooked right through. We just put a nice bit of colour on those. Okay, once they've got a little bit of colour on them, we're using very lean bacon. As you can see, there's really nothing in the pan to be drained away in the way of waste. Now we're just going to pop in our onions now. We don't want big chunks of raw onion in our casserole and this gives us the best opportunity to cook. You could use leeks in this, you could use sweet potato, it's really up to you what to do. Good sprinkle of our veggie salt and pepper. Now we've got our uncut bread here, we're just going to break chunks of that off. Just tear them up and throw them in amongst our casserole. These will soak up all those egg and cream juices and any juices that come out of the tomatoes as well. Just poke those around as well. You could use a whole grain bread if you prefer or gluten free even if that's your thing. Cherry tomatoes and our spring onions can go in now. I'll just give this all a bit of a, a lift and a toss around. We want to have some sausages poking out, some tomatoes poking out, some bread poking out. We want to have everything visible at the top. This is looking Christmassy already. Now I don't want our eggs all whipped up, I want to have some visible parts of white and yolk there. So just give it a, a gentle poke around, pour in half of our cream. Our eggs go over the top. Heat off. Our cheese goes on now. Just sprinkle our cheese all around the top. Now not everybody likes a sweet breakfast on Christmas morning or on special occasions and this is that alternative. But you can have sweet if you want to and if you do we've got an excellent eggnog French toast recipe. You could serve it with both actually. We'll sort of poke around, make sure everything's had something to do with the eggs. Stick a sausage out on top occasionally, a couple of tomatoes out on top. Now we're just going to leave this sit for a while. If you can leave it overnight, all the better. And then we bake it until those eggs are cooked to your level of doneness. And those tomatoes are just going to split open, the cheese is going to be all bubbly. Now we're just going to let that sit for a little while. I've got some smoky paprika here. I'm just going to give it a bit of a sprinkle for some colour. Plus we like the flavour of it. You could use cayenne if you like, but that's um, a little bit hot for breakfast. Now our breakfast casserole has soaked up all our egg and cream. We just give it a little poke down to make sure that everything's down where it should be. And we're going to bake that until it's cooked to your level of doneness. 180 degrees, about 25 minutes. And there you have it. After 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius, our breakfast casserole is ready to eat. Just leave it sit for a little while to set. Now it's time to serve our breakfast casserole. Just cut into it. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. There you have it. Cheeky Richo's breakfast casserole. Have a little taste, shall we? Some sausage and some of that egg. Some of that Cheeky Richo relish. Yum yum. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Thanks for watching.